In this video, I will share with you the experience I had at the Angel Academy of Art in Florence. It is a school which teaches the old methods of painting and drawing. When I arrived in Florence, I wanted to start painting straight away. But of course, one step after the other, we had to build a foundation first before we were able to continue with painting. So the first year actually, we just drew with graphite pencil and charcoal. It was crucial to know how to deal with things like gesture, construct and articulating the outlines and shadow shapes in an interesting way before even thinking about smashing some color onto the canvas. It was encouraged to look at the drawings of artists like Charles Barg. It was very helpful to copy some of his drawings in order to really get a feel of his lines. There is a great book with a lot of his drawings, which is called Charles Bach Drawing Course. You should really check it out. One of the coolest things we learned, and not a lot of schools teach that nowadays, is how to plan and design a painting from imagination. Yes, from imagination. So make sure to stick to the very end of the video in order to learn more about that. The next stage was filling in the shadows and adding more information in the lights always keeping the shadows and lights separate. After the first few steps, we were able to render everything to a high finish. And yes, this is still drawn with graphite pencil. I didn't really believe it at first that this was even possible. But after a lot of days and weeks and months of hard training, it was possible to achieve this kind of refined look paying a lot of attention into detail and subtle transitions. Before I progress onto the charcoal drawing methods in the academic program, I want you to see what other graphite projects we had to work on. While working with a live model in the afternoons, in the mornings we copied special sets of drawings, which were also made by the 19th century artist Charles Bach. We didn't just copy them but we really had to learn how to understand them, how to block them in with simple lines and shapes to model the big and smaller forms. Certain exercises like drawing a sphere made us really understand how to render an object in a way to make it look three-dimensional. It was encouraged to copy artists we liked and implement the knowledge we learned in class. Now on to the next step, drawing with charcoal. As some of you might already know, charcoal is a very messy medium and it can move around a lot, making everything dirty and messy. Keeping that in mind, we learned how to really control this messy medium and draw in a nice and orderly manner. This was not only applied to the live model, of course, but also to our projects in the cast room, always working from the general to the more specific. Of course, also here, we were told to copy charcoal drawings at home after class in order to practice the methodology. At this time, I also started applying the things I learned to my own personal projects, using the knowledge I gained, trying to follow the process. Now, as promised, I will tell you how to plan and design a painting. We would start with little sketches. These can be drawn with ballpoint pen. We were allowed to use references, but it was encouraged to use your imagination. After the general idea was put down, we would search for references, which could be used as a helpful guide to draw the individual elements, characters, of the composition and then puzzling them together in order to get an interesting looking scene. Once the drawing of the composition was set, we added values, first in black and white and then with colors. These steps I did digitally on the iPad. Learning these things was so mind-blowing and helped me so much in being able to create the things I really want to create. 
I struggled so much before going to the academy because I just didn't really know how to execute my ideas. But now, after having gone through this hard and tough program, I can be free and paint whatever I want. You want to know how to use this knowledge of drawing realistically and take it even further? Then click one of those two videos I linked here and I will show you how to paint. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Happy painting and see you next week. Ciao.